Welcome back guys to my let's play of the X-Files the game where we left off I blew up the warehouse towing building that my main character and partner were in oopsies um so I went back and I figured I did a big no-no and good chance I'm getting comments that I did a bad no 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 kind of thing we're gonna check the coroner's office first and then head over there so let's do that first Gotta hate coming here. As near as I can tell, this man wasn't burned to death in any ordinary sense. He has all the appearances of suffering from Hiroshima-like radiation exposure. So basically, the weapon is a tiny nuclear-like flash bomb, I guess I want to say. Just in case. Nothing new. Nothing new. Stare at you. You're very toasty. And it is the dude from the towing truck. Okay, well, I haven't looked at all of this before. And I don't think there's anything new. So, let's talk to her. What makes you think it's radiation? Well, first off, I don't know much about it, but he was burned from head to toe. Literally. Fire damage never does that. Secondly, I cut his clothes off him. They were pretty much undamaged. You see this? That's the imprint of the logo from his shirt. That's caused by thermic rays. Similar effects were observed at Hiroshima. Kimono patterns were burned into the skin of the wearer. Inverse shadows of objects were permanently etched into walls. Yep, she, she is correct. Um, are there any similarities between this and the Terracon victims? The effects are almost identical. We didn't figure it out with the Terracan because, well, it really didn't occur to us. I mean, this is highly unusual stuff, you know. Any leads on the missing Terracon crew? No. Whoever did it was good. They got in here and got the bodies without leaving a trace of any kind. Could mishandling radioactive materials cause burns like this? Again, I don't think so, but I don't know much about it. Mishandling radioactive materials might account for Mr. Wong's tumors, but a burn like this would have to be a blast of some sort. Okay, I wonder then. Is there anything else we can do here? We know what we're dealing with. Is that the bullet <laughs> from before? I wonder. Uh, mm -mm. I think that's everything. I could be wrong. Okay. So that must be everything then. Uh Okay, so I guess we'll just kind of piss off. Um, oh, I think anyone's in here. No, the, the bodies are still still gone. Still gone, okay. Well, yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, well, let's get going. Uh, so let's head here again and try not to blow up the place. Well, they're obviously not very security minded. I know, with all this nice stuff around, too. Well, it's the same truck from the warehouse. We're obviously in the right place. Okay, we're gonna save here. Again. Okay. 
And this time we will try not to blow up the place. So let's just go in. And we know it's not unlocked or anything like that, so we'll just barge in. And then I'll kind of do what I did before. I'll grab what I need beforehand, just in case, you know, I accidentally hit the fire alarm rather than, you know, what I need to do. Okay. So, we need to grab this, and then we need to grab that, because that's going to help us defuse the bomb. Um, do, 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 dramatic music. Dramatic music. We can't even discern that. We, oh, we can't even tinker with the fire alarm. That's unsettling. Okay. And then, let's go grab the paper. Get this going. Can't even shoot him. Might as well grab this and get ready. Are you alright? It's okay. I found what we're looking for. What is it? Look at this. It's a manifest. It details a number of shipments between that uh, dockside warehouse and uh, rural route 1121 in Fanta County, Washington. I guess I know where we're headed. This wasn't a wasted trip after all. Great. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Locked in. Okay. I can't. Oh, there we go. I can use them. Let's use them now. Let's see what happens. Nope. Nope. Didn't work. Oops. 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 Who are you now? Oops. Yes. <laughs> Oops. 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 Hey, you know what? There's a fridge. We could totally oh hide in the God. fridge. There's a bomb in here. Yes, we thank you. We get out of here now. We could totally hide in the fridge because as Indiana Jones has taught me, fridges are good places to hide, which we can't even open the fridge anyways. Okay, so this. Uh, and let's try that again. Nope. Nope. Totally didn't work. Nope. 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 I don't even know who the heck he is. You're not the old man we saw in the, the first time we died. Yes, I'd like to try again. Oh no, it's a bomb. Oh no, what are we going to do? I'm waiting for that. She hasn't found oh it yet. God, there's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. Oh no. Okay, well, let me, let me see if I can look at the bomb. Okay, there it is. This. Wait. Uh, uh, that? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, oh, wait, snap. No! I'm on the right track, though. I am. I see no person, so clearly I'm on the right track. Okay. Yes, there's a bomb. Oh, no, there's a bomb. Move out of the way, woman. Oh, God. There's snip. a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. Yes, that's great. Can I, can I get in there? Can I get in there? Move your ass. Move your butt. Move your ass. Thank you. Can, I'm, I'm going to take charge. Okay, what can I do here? Clearly cutting the cord didn't work. And I don't think I cut any other cord. No. This window's wired to the bomb. Oh, well. Okay, can I look at that? I can't seem to look at it. Even though they gave me a hint, I can't look at it. I think we're gonna die here. It was nice knowing you. Uh, there's the wire there, too. I wonder if I can cut it from here. Nope. Uh, it just says there, but can we look at this? No, we can't. Uh, nope, we're dead. 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 I don't know the song, but we're dead. Okay, guys. So, I played quite a bit of this. 
Thank goodness for the power of editing. Yes, it's bomb, 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 bomb. Yes, yes, yes. So we we kind of have to do the Indiana Jones thing. No, I'll be wondering what that is. It's this, and was it not that? That. Not really Indiana Jones, but yeah. Took me a while. And we didn't die. Yay. <laughs> and it's this dude. Oh, it's times like this, I wish I still smoked. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I find things like this quite bracing. So I guess you're going to want me to drive. <laughs> that would be a nice gesture. I never survived a bomb before. Yeah, well, it happens to me all the time. Wait, what? So she's like a bomb expert? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 I should save. Oh, go for it, dude. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, 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 you want to? Kiss the girl. Wow, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go for this. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, return. Just in case we get punched in the face. This. Wait, 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 where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, damn it. Damn it. Wait a second, can we... Can we... Can I, can I? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Um, you Damn it! You shouldn't do that. I mean, I would love for you to. Don't get me wrong, but... We should probably wait until this case is wrapped before we go... Tampering with the evidence. Oh, I do need a love triangle. Oh, it's so cute. Damn it, we can't... <laughs> Anywho. Let's continue. So, who owns the hauling yard? Duh, Russian mobsters. Actually, they're Georgian, you know. How's that? Well, I'm assuming, because the crew of the Terracon was Georgian. That, that's true. I guess we know why the gate was left open. You mean it wasn't just small town coziness? <laughs> no. The gate was left open so something would get in there and set that bomb off. Yeah, but was it meant for us or that guy? I'm gonna guess for him. That's actually a good point. Because the fact that the, um, ball gentleman at the gas station charged at the gentleman, it's kind of implying they're trying to kill him and not us. We just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Was the bomb meant as a trap or was it protecting something in the office? Like what? Information in that logbook? The rural route address, for instance? Well, anything in there would be pretty hard to read now, that's for sure. I think the bomb was meant to trap and kill somebody. I, I'm kind of on the right track, like, right thought there. Track, thought, the. Who was that guy? He was incredibly strong. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. You think he works out? There was something weird about his eyes. Did you see that? No, I was too busy being knocked across the room to catch that little detail. Um, I'm guessing he's a, you know, lab experiment that escaped and all that fun stuff. Um, trying like, no, I think it was something that was clearly wrong with him. He seemed, there was something wrong with him. Almost like he was being controlled by something. <sighs> Are you ready to go? I sure am. You're driving, remember? Right. Okay, so I don't know where she lives. Um, I guess we'll just go to our place. Maybe she could stay over. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see if she can stay over. What? What? She's not even there. What? What? That's so not cool, man. So not cool. Anywho. Oh, wait. I don't want to check that out. I want to see if we got anything new and special and spiffy. No. Nothing new. Okay. Fine. I'm assuming we are done for today. We went to the crime lab. We went to the towing place. Yeah. I think. 
Yeah, well, no, I don't want to look at that picture. I want to go to bed. Let's go to bed. Bed. Okay, so we are done. For the day. Okay. It is a nice day out. Um, so that's... I guess we get going. I guess. Is he dressed? I should double check. Oh, oh, great. Okay, yes, he's fine. Oh, yes, he brushed his teeth and did all that stuff too. Okay, so let's check our computer, because why not? Oh, no, not again. Okay, and once again, enter the password, S-H-I-L-O-H, boop. Okay, so I wonder if we can search. Did we? I think we, oh, not again. Okay, no, oh, I did that wrong. That's a first. Okay, S H I L O H. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, terra. Oh, yeah, we searched the Terracana. Um, nuclear. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, Russian nuclear smuggling. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, in a speech to a convention of e economists, political scientists, law enforcement officers, and civic leaders here, John D. Hematoller, I butchered that, I think, warned of increased smuggling activity in the former Soviet Union. Dr. H, there we go, Dr. H, an authority on nuclear espionage and exultant to Interpol, the International Police Agency spoke at the third annual World International Affairs Convention at the Seattle Convention Center, remarking on the destabilization of the former Soviet Union. Union bleh, H cited six confirmed incidents in which uranium or plutonium, hey, had been smuggled from Russian facilities through the though the smugglers were intercepted by Russian or European police. H cautions that with the unrestricted travel conditions in Russia, there probably have been quarantines of radioactive material brought out of the country through Central Asia, destination unknown. Pure plutonium, enriched uranium, and near-bomb gray plutonium, 239, were intercepted amounting to nearly 20 pounds of the lethal substance. H said that these weapon-grade material are highly prized by terrorists organizations and countries outside the world community if a country like Iran or Libya can attain just kind of scroll down sufficient quantities combined with these sufficient sufficient yeah sufficient I can't say it <laughs> of many of these terrorists it is only a matter of time before the free world is held hostage by individuals possession possessing a nuclear device H further warned that Seattle and most of the northern Washington state is a vulnerable area for the importation of nuclear products. They can be brought over from Russia to Siberia before being transshipped trans across Pacific, noted H. The conference, conference continued throughout Saturday with panel discussions on third world economies, environmental challenge, human rights, cross control, cultural differences, and immigration policies. And the conference is closed to the general public. I'm going to write down this gentleman's name. Because I wouldn't mind doing a quick search on him himself. So i got to go all the way back to the top. Uh, where was it? John. Uh, D. I should really call those other phone numbers too. H-E-L-M-A-N-T-O-L-E-R. Speaking of which, they mentioned bomb. Bomb be interesting one to search. Nothing found. Okay, let's type his name in in the APB. Because maybe we can get a. F oh, not not that. That. No, no. Where was it? Ah, that one. Okay. Uh, John. Oh. Yeah, John. D. H E L M A N T O L E R. Uh, citizen. Nothing. FBI? Let's 
government. Law enforcement. Criminal? Nothing? Nothing at all? I, I guess not. Unless I typed it wrong, but I don't think I did. Okay, well, anything else I can search while I'm here thinking? Since we got some stuff. Uh, hmm. I wonder. It's a dumb thing, but... Maybe. It is all about that. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, that was like a couple days ago. Uh, let's see. On the heels of a recent night time light show that illuminated local switchboards as well as the Seattle Sky UFOologist and Everett resident Mason Delac. That name rings a bell. That really does ring a bell. It's claiming that the increased sighting of undefined, unidentified flying objects are the result of the government testing. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm not going to do this entire thing because my throat is starting to hurt a bit. Um, so if you want to read, by all means, pause and go through it. I'm going to quickly skim here. It's basically... I, it's basically confusing... Um, the lights are happening with UFOs. Um, okay. So let's type... I wonder. I think that was the towing company? Oh, hey. Russian immigrants. So, a lot of people are from Georgia. Okay. Sorry, once again, I'm just going to skim through this. So it's basically saying that a lot of Russians are moving to Georgia. So it is still a smuggling ring of some sort. Um, I think that's all I can think of. So let's get out of here. Um, I don't know where to go. What's this? Oh, that's that inn. That's that hotel we went to. Um, I guess just back to our office. I think. I guess. Oh, oh, dis five. Oh, okay. Um, uh, well, you know what, guys? I think this is actually a perfect place to end the episode then. We'll get to the next disc in a second. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this Let's Play so far. Um, as usual, please do let me know. Um, like, comment, uh, subscribe as well, please, and check out my other videos as well. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!